we are going to take the spacito to the wet. Hey, spacito, what do you say about visiting the wet to see how healthy or unhealthy you are? You want a quick snack before we leave? Huh? Yeah, I bet you do. Oh, look at him. <laughs> He's already. Oh, oh, food, food, give me food, give me food. Yeah, 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 come here. Oh, come on, chill, man. Inside. No, not around. Inside. I'm trying to get him used to feed from this bowl because. Yeah, that way I don't have any loose crickets or roaches inside of the enclosure because if he doesn't catch them immediately they will often ru run and hide in this so that sucks that's why I have the ball here here despacito despacito <laughs> inside inside hum 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 mm. and the last one these are just snacks for the trip since I want to take him for blood testing to see the levels of white of minerals and D3 and everything in the blood, you know when you don't, <laughs> you know when you need to take a blood test, then you aren't supposed to eat in the morning before you take the blood test. So I'm not sure if that same rule applies to reptiles. So just in case, I gave him just three crickets and we are off. Actually, those weren't crickets; those were roaches. Lateralis roaches. We'll take this and we need some piece of this. I hate doing stuff with just one hand. Spacito. Is that your poop? I need to pick up your poop. Little little guy. No. Come on. Come, let's go. In and please be chilled inside. I will take him to the wet now and I will ask if I can record there but I'm not certain if they will allow that so just in case there's no footage of wet I apologize in advance let's go let's go another trip <laughs> I like how he's not really that scared more like he's curious what the hell is happening bearded dragons are awesome and their personalities are awesome you will sit here and just to be sure <laughs> there you go you are safe now maybe i should or maybe not definitely i could open the box but i don't trust him of not getting out of there so i don't want to chase him around the car while i'm driving let's drive Despacito, <laughs> you have no idea what is happening, right? Oh, hi, doggies! <coughs> hey, doggy! <coughs> What's up, doggy? <coughs> okay, we have a bit of problem situation. Uh, not a problem, but um, a minor setback. In my town, Koprivnica, there is not a single veterinarian that can do blood test for reptiles so there is only possibility that some someone in Zagreb the capital of Croatia can do that stuff so that means that I will need to go there and I cannot do it today so yeah this will be a time jump <laughs> round two as you see we are once again in a car Despacito is once again here hey wave to people wave to people hello everyone <laughs> So currently, currently we are on the highway. Let me just start driving and then I will explain the situation. As I said previously, in my town, Koprivnica, there is not a single uh, veterinarian station that can do blood tests needed for the Despacito. So therefore I contacted a friend of mine that is working on veterinarian faculty in Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, asked him if 
if maybe someone there can do that the blood test and the x-ray and thankfully they can do it so he arranged it for me and now we are driving to Zagreb on an adventure right Despacito I'm really curious how he will react to blood testing I mean I assume that they take blood tests the same way as for humans so they take a syringe and just poke you I'm wondering if he will freak out and of course I will ask if I can record the procedure but if not I will just explain you later on my way back how everything went down and the reason why we are doing the blood test if you watch the Despacito video and if you read the comments there is a lot and I mean a lot of people writing that he got the metabolic uh, bone disease and a lot of people jumped to conclusion and said that that is because of improper care that the previous owner didn't keep them uh, with the UVB light, they didn't fed them with minerals, vitamins and all that stuff. I mean calcium supplements, not realizing that the person that gave me Despacito actually received a pair of male and female Bitter Dragon from the keeper that didn't want to keep them anymore. And she had them for a short time before they produced the eggs, the tiny Despacito eggs. So again, bashing people in the comments without knowing the situation is you see really not that not the smartest thing and you shouldn't just assume that you understand the whole situation and know how everything went down and then make conclusions based on it one thing is to give a like honest feedback and your opinion or something in the manner fashion and the other thing is just jumping on people and writing mean mean stuff that's not cool so since the parents probably they probably suffer from the MBD and probably that situation transferred to the Despacito definitely not as bad as some people are claiming I mean he definitely won't die quickly and he will recover without any problem but to be 100% sure and to be aware of his health situation I've been advised by a friend of mine from Arcadia Reptiles to do the blood test and x-ray and he will review the data and advise me if just regular care, just regular quality supplements and you will be light will be enough for him to recover or he will need some additional supplements to improve his, his health situation. We will see that after the blood results. So don't worry, regardless of the situation, Despacito got the best possible the best possible care that he can have as a as a reptile. He got the best UVB light on the market and he also got the best supplements on the market. So there is really really nothing to worry about I mean if he really got some severe case of MBD that is just the situation that he is currently in and there is nothing that we can do now except try to improve it the best way we can and the best treatment for MBD is good UVB light good supplements and the thing that that is kind of not always considered but it is good exercise their enclosure should be spacious and should be set up in a way that the dragon is promoted to, to move around and exercise and not just sit on one spot the entire time and that's exactly what his enclosure is all about enough of the talking and hopefully i will be able to record the procedure <laughs> he is hungry i will explain you everything what happened at the vets but first let's feed him because he deserves that he was a good boy okay okay you see He's, oh, dude, just a second. Patience, patience. He knows what tweezers means. Come here, Despacito. Hum, hum, hum. Tweezers means food. Food, more food. <laughs> you see how super active he is. <laughs> he missed. Come here. Get him, it's in water. Yeah, nice. <laughs> he actually got that. <laughs> it fell, Despacito, it fell. No, that's just the tweezers. Behind your tail, here. You see it? Yeah, get him. <laughs> Feeding bearded dragons is super fun. Such a derpy. So what are the results? First of all, the vet tried to take uh, blood, but unfortunately she wasn't able to extract enough blood to make the actual tests, because the Spacito is actually too small for that. And he really didn't cause any trouble. He was just taking up the needles as a champ. 
but unfortunately not enough blood. So for blood work, we will need to do it when he grows a bit bigger. We did the x-ray and indeed on the x-ray you can see the, the crooked spine in his tail. But the rest of the bones, they all, they all looked all right. Some did show some signs of being a bit weaker than they should be, but she also said that it could be because he is still baby and he is growing. But overall she said, come, despacito. But overall she said that his situation definitely doesn't look alarming and she thinks that just with the right care, as I explained earlier, he should be able to recover fully. So that is excellent news. And we are happy about it, right? <laughs> Despacito's first wet trip, first wet trip on this channel and I hope one of the last wet trips. There were so many sad, sad dogs and cats over there waiting to be checked and they all had such a sad, sad face as you could see that dogs exactly know where they are. They were all like mm, so scared and so sad. <laughs> but Despacito didn't have any problems. He was a bit cold because that was a long trip. But now you see he's on 100% energy back again. Are you full, man? You will eat all the crickets. I think that that will be enough. So there you have it. You don't need to worry about his health. He is in good hands and he will definitely grow to be a big and strong bearded dragon. Right? Let's now let him bask on his spot. Yeah, that's his spot. He basks here all the time. And even though when I was bringing the three new reptiles in the dark den, Despacito, Felix, the chameleon, and also Thor, the leopard gecko. I was mostly hyped about the chameleon, but now with time and after seeing their personality, Bearded Dragon is definitely better, much better reptile to, to keep. You're the best, man. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so see you again soon, bye bye!